so we went to drop the kid off with dad so that we've got a kind of the night to ourselves so the wife's going to take a nap and i'm going to do other stuff um, including look at this battery right so i was in the group chat with my buddy don and he was ordering up this lithium battery for his motorcycle because his dad's been using one for a while and he liked it um, and so he just sent me a link to the smallest one he could find figuring it would work well for the three-wheeler because that thing's battery sucks and it, here it is it's like it's super light and it's probably tiny so get my tripod and we'll open it up okay so i don't know i didn't do any research right i just impulse bought this thing was a little over 80 bucks i think it's right around maybe 83 or 85. <laughs> it's so little oh it'd be interesting so yeah this little little dude comes with some screws when it comes with spacers because they know it's not big enough that's good yeah normal battery type screws and it's got these little ful for full and apparently they have the charge controller in the top so you can slap these into whatever you want it's just cheap chinese crap but they are a lithium polymer like my rc cars so they have a really high discharge rate um 29 watt hours i don't know we'll get the i'll head out to the three-wheeler and see if we can't swap these out oh boy yeah we got some motorcycles to sell this spring too now it's said in the little instruction book that if your charging system goes over 14.9 volts not to do it. I think the Hondas have a regulator. Oh, I guess it's not that much smaller in physical size. This is probably going to work just fine. Uh, you got to take the ground off first. Yeah, this battery, like, if I put it on the big charger in the garage and really get it full up, it'll last a couple days. Um, as long as you keep riding it, right? And then when it sits, it just discharges. There might be a draw on this somewhere that I don't know about. Uh, we'll find out if this lithium one just doesn't last. But if that's the case, I'll get an on-off switch for it. Oh, yeah. Out you go. Oh, yeah, you fit tight. All right. Need more hands. Okay, so it's backwards, right? from the other one and I stuck the stuff to it because everything's so dirty in there they probably wouldn't just wouldn't stick well but I think it might go left to right a little bit but it fits tight enough it keeps it high up so our positive isn't going to hit any of that metal um, for test run that should be fine then we'll put the strap on uh, maybe never I don't even know where it is but if I find it I'll put it on <laughs> we'll have to figure out a way to keep this from bouncing up and down too much Okay, just in case when I put the negative on, this thing explodes. Nope, nothing horrible. Okay, good, I have the key up here. Okay, super high performance battery. Probably don't want to choke right now. Is the fuel on? Nope, fuel's off like a good boy. Nice bright light. Let's get that going for us. Oh, easy. Got some fuel in there, I wonder. I wonder if I need to clean the turbo. It may have varnished up. Normally this thing runs like a champ.
Either way, the little battery does just fine. Testing the theory that when I, was, when I plowed the driveway, um, I didn't have any audio through this internal mic in the helmet. And I think it's because I plugged in the adapter for it after I turned the camera on. So this time, camera's on, uh, well, adapter plugged in, then turned the camera on. We'll give this thing a little tally and tune up while the wife's taking a nap. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. And uh, see if it kind of springs back to life. I got rear tires at 8 PSI and the front one at 5. 8's a little high, really, but I like them that way. I like to bounce around, make sure my back hurts. Oh yeah, we're doing better already. <laughs> Come back! <laughs> I can't go out on the road on this. <laughs> I'll get arrested. Oh, Dave was having a fire. He just left too. I would have hung out with him. Oh yeah, this thing runs great. Probably just needed to... <laughs> pop, pop, bang. This is a custom awesome exhaust. Ew, there's pokey shit. I gotta come back here and clean up some for mini trails. Oops. Look, my phone's gonna fall out of my pocket. Well, cool. That little battery works fantastic. Do another lap. Why not? You can hear my custom fenders rubbing a little bit. I can't wait till my boy's old enough to break some bones on this thing. Oh, let's check and see how Dave's trail looks. Oh yeah, it's still nice and flat. Whoops, wrong way. I don't know what that is. That's probably because of somebody's private property. Yep, I work for a power company. Just checking the lines out. Jeez, that place is huge, huh? See, that's where a lower tire pressure, you wouldn't bounce off of those hills so bad. That's gonna be rough when we go up north and my wife has that nice new quad and I'm on this thing. I'll bring a dirt bike. <laughs> this thing's so dangerous. Yeah, I feel safer on this than I do with the Jeep, to be honest. Dave's yard. Pokey, pokey, ow. Oh, tight turn. Oh, there's a tree in the way. Three wheeler, don't give a shit. <laughs> Whoopsie. This looks so much fun. We'll just park it up here so we can do a couple laps later. Oh, good times.